Hey guys, and welcome to Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed 3 is not connected, technically, to the other Assassin's Creed games. It's, um, the start of a new one, actually. Assassin's Creed 1 featured El Tay Ibn Lahad, which was in the, uh, the, I think it was the Holy Times and stuff like that. And in the real time, Desmond was going through his memories because the Templars were ordering him to. Assassin's Creed 2, 3, and 4 are Desmond going through the memories of Ezio trying to learn his skills. But this one, it's all about, in the Animus, it's all about a guy, a new person, I'm not going to say his name, but it's a new person, and in the real world, it's Desmond finally knows what he's doing. Now, he's a little recap if you don't remember, in Assassin's Creed, um, in Assassin's Creed Revelations, at, after the events of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, where he killed Lucy, because Juno took control of Desmond. Desmond's mind went into a malfunction because I was unable to tell who he was. I was unable to tell whether he was Altair, Ezio, or Desmond. And so what he needed to do in Revelations was go through all those two memories and end the lives of Altair and Ezio and see their deaths. Um, I don't actually think you see Ezio's death. You don't see him die. You just see what he does for the rest of his life, kind of. But you do see Altair's life, and then the Animus goes, Oh, okay, so you're not Altair, he's already dead. You're not Ezio, he's already an old man and he's dying. You must be Desmond. And it allows the Animus to fix his mind, and he wakes up with the knowledge of what he has to do, and where he has to go, because the ones who came before told him. Um, and so Assassin's Creed 3 is basically the evolution of that, but it also features a new character. Now, why there's a new character, I'm not going to explain. I do have to say, though, that Assassin's Creed 3 minus Assassin's Creed 2... Used to be when people talked about the... Nope, that's the opening cutscene to the game. Um, I'm not sure what I've said about Assassin's Creed 3 in the past. I think I said Assassin's Creed 3 is one of the, we one of the worst. But when I say that, I don't say that... I, I don't say that rudely. I just say that Assassin's Creed 3, compared to all the other games, is the worst. Because it's not as good as the other ones. But I still happily enjoy it. So, I'm actually happy to be able to play this. I'm going to be more psyched when I get out to Assassin's Creed 4. But Assassin's Creed 3 is very fun. So, let's get into it, shall we? I've already done the settings. And you will also see I've got the DLC for this game. Um, but we will be playing that over time. I do not have you play, this is on Steam, so... <laughs> um, so otherwise, let's get into it. Single player? Oh yeah, I already started one because I was seeing if it worked. <laughs> Delete that, start a new game. Uh, I'm gonna call myself... Fake Lore, of course. Used and to let's be begin. When people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do. And the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. 
to Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. I love that cutscene. It's a very cool cutscene. Yeah! Got it! Okay. Bye. We're here. It was lacking there for a couple of seconds, but that was weird. Sorry about that. Let's go. All right, I can do that. Nice place. Lots of trees. I'm walking slower than everyone. Sorry, Sean. You're a dick. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sean's actually pretty cool in this game. He's cool altogether. He's just a dick sometimes. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. It's very dark. I've been playing so much games where shift is run that I forgot right mouse button in this game is run and free run because they've mixed it together. I think we're here. Nice. It will teach me how to do things, yeah, but still. Oh, what's this? <coughs> A puzzle piece? That's interesting.
You must find the key. Son? Sir? No, boy. Here we go again. Well, the Animus is taking me. Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. I thought I turned subtitles off. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. Guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. All right. Okay, Desmond. While you were uh. Okay, I thought I turned subtitles off. I don't know. I I don't like subtitles. I do like them, yes, but I can hear perfectly. I used to have them off because I'm like, oh, what if I don't understand this in a bit? But I haven't had that issue in years, so it's off. Why am I seeing subtitles then? <laughs> Visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. No worries. All right. Bring it on. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Okay, walking. <laughs> okay, it says run, but okay. That was nice. I just pressed space for at the right time. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. So yeah, in Assassin's Creed 1 to Revelations, you had to hold down two buttons, one to run and one to free run. You cannot, couldn't do free run unless you were running. Um, in this one, they've put it both into one button, so it's cool. On console, it would be the right trigger, and in P PC, it's uh, right mouse button, unless you change it. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. All right. Bumba. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Kill them. Yeah. Okay. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Bumba. This is a very nice obstacle course. I also like the look of Assassin's Creed 3, it just looks so cool. With all the animus stuff glitching out, and well not glitching out, just how it's building stuff. I've always liked these kind of games, how they're digital. And I say digital as in like, uh, just, you know, it's uh, very computerized. Now. We should be able to build the world. It's time to find out what the temple wants from you. Okay. Full synchronization. Escape to view progress. What? Okay. I don't need to know that. I will be trying to get full synchronization, and sometimes if I want, I may restart missions just to get it. Sir. But who knows? Sir. Hey, what's up? Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Cool. So, are we an assassin? Star mission. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? <laughs> nah, I'm fine. 
Uh, new email received. What? How can I, uh, view emails? Memories fully cinched, synchronization, completion, notification center, maybe here? New email received. How do I check it? Okay, uh, maybe I have to like, quit to be able to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are oh, okay, I pressed tab. Oh, so that's how you check the map. Nice. No worries, I can do that. Good evening, sir. I'm gonna turn off the brightness. I thought the brightness would be okay on low. It's not. <laughs> also, I know in um in past games I've actually read about the places I go to. I might if I get curious. I just can't promise anything. Sometimes I wanna read, sometimes I don't wanna read. Um some people may know the feeling. I'll put on eight. Nope, that's a little bland that you can actually see the brightness. I don't want to see the brightness. I just want to see the color. <laughs> okay, brightness. Put on about six. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. My apologies. There we go. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Uh, press V to trigger Eagle Vision. Up there. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. I already have. So no one's gonna notice me climbing up this. That's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> A thousand pardons. So sorry. Alright. No one notices this. It's hilarious. I mean, people are probably no probably noticing, but that's the thing. Just because you notice something doesn't mean you can do anything about it. I guess that's what the game's trying to prove. Wonderful play. I'm just listening. Hang on a second, I'm gonna do something. Um, options... Whoops, wrong one. Options... General? Yeah. Music... Dumb. I wanna listen to this. <laughs> I, I can barely hear that. What the hell? How high are the voices? I mean, obviously it's meant to be a background thing. You're not actually meant to be hearing them. But I want to hear them. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm just going to turn this back up to seven. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. I get interested in the background stuff a lot. 
Cake lock. Oh. Uh, move the mouse left and right to locate and hold the raking angle. Carefully move the mouse. Wait, what? Okay, so I have to move the mouse left and right to find the angle, and then move it up and down to find another angle, and then mash the buttons. That's annoying, but okay, I can deal with it. Sure. Everyone's blind. The Beggar's Opera. Um, the Beggar's Opera opened in London in 1728. It's a musical, one of the earliest ever created. It was written by John Gay, a writer and friend of both Alexander Pope and Jonathan, S Jonathan Swift, two of the prominent literary figures of the day. The opera was both popular and controversial. Popular partly because it was an excellent skewing of Italian opera, which was very popular at the time. However, instead of complicated Italian songs, the Beggar's Opera featured folk tunes that the audience could recognize, meaning you could hum along even if you didn't know Italian. It was controversial because of the subject matter. It's set in the New Gate prison, and the main characters are all criminals, who act much like the upper class. It was a send-up of the British nobility, including a veiled criticism of the head of government, neither of whom traditionally have a sense of humor. I've never met a queen who liked a knock-knock joke. Actually, I've never met a queen... The Beggar's Opera was accused of being a base form of entertainment, and because its main characters are criminals, accused of causing increase in crime. It's nice to see that criticism isn't just for movies and video games. Bloody opera corrupting our kids. <laughs> okay, that's worth it. Interesting. Hey, Phil. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. <sighs> All right, shh, kid. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> Good day. Is that blood dropping from your underarm? Oh my god, is that a knife? No, it's a blade. Screams? Sir, are you okay? Moves the body. There you go. <laughs> Come, please! That man there! Seize him! A lot of this is just hoping we don't get caught. So is he a Templar or something? I'm wondering if that's... Oh, we're going in there. Right. A lot of people like it only just happened and there was just one scream
<laughs> the animus is just like, I'm trying to rebuild here. Hello, Bradley. I'm calling him Bradley from now on. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bride. By your command. Thank you, Bradley. I don't know his real name. <laughs> Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Okay, sequence one, a deadly performance. Nice. Hate them. Atlantic Ocean, day two. Sea shanties, everyone. Sea shanties, 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 shanties. And then all will be well. You sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. Oh, you want to fight? Afraid. Stay out of this. Oh, yeah, gladly. Okay, you have to hold it. Come on, 
There you go. You really shouldn't. We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Bumba. Bumba. Do you yield? Never! <clears throat> oh! I like these odds. I like them a lot. What's the meaning of this? Captain! Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These fought. We were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. <laughs> Cheeky smile. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Are we understood? Shakes head slightly. Good day. <laughs> that was interesting. So what am I doing now? Return to your cabin. Okay. Hmm? What am I doing on this side? I thought I was... Oh, I went the wrong way to begin with. Okay. Here's my cabin. Interact. Which day is this? Day 28. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. Okay. He's got a rations again. Claims we're not having second thoughts, are you? 
Why is that glistening? Play a game. Sometimes referred to as Cowboy Checkers, Nine Man's Morris is a board game that dates back to at least the Roman Empire. It is played on board with nine stones for each player. Players ultimately play stones. Three stones in a row gives the player the right to remove an opposing stone. Goal. Leave the opponent with less than three pieces or block all his opponent's moves. Rules. Form mills to capture enemy pieces. A mill is formed when three of your pieces are placed in a straight line. Forming a mill allows the player to take an enemy piece of their choice that is not already part of a mill. Placement phase. Players place their pieces one after the other in any attempt on the board. Movement phase. Players take turns moving their pieces to a neighboring empty spot. Flying phase. When a player is left with only three pieces, he can move them at any empty spots on the board. Okay. Do you want to play first? No. Start a game. I don't want to play at all. <laughs> oh, so you're playing... Okay. I was wondering why this was glistening. Like, if you look there... Um, hang on. Okay, it's 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 not happening. There it is. It's right there. But it was only because this guy was. That's funny. It confused me. Hey. I got nothing to say to you. Sure. Quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Atham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. That they're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. It's been 26 days and they're bringing it up now? That's funny. I want to try talking to everyone. Hey. Meh. There you are. You looking for another fight? That it? Go away. I wanted to talk to the three guys to see what they individually said. Alright, now we can go on with the objective. Who are you? You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice. But I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Okay. A doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken ill? No, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain you or the You sound just like Jane. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work-related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me... No worries. Hmm. Is this that Nine Thing game again? Oh no, it's a different one. Fatarona is believed to have originated in Madagascar. It is played on a nine row by five column board of intersecting lines. Each player places 22 black or white pieces on the board, then tries to capture the opponent's pieces by moving his along a line and either approaching or opposing or withdrawing from one. Goal, capture all of the opponent's pieces. Rules, capture the opponent's pieces by moving towards them or away from them. When a piece is taken, all consecutive opponent's pieces standing behind that piece will also be captured. Capturing moves are mandatory. If no capturing move is possible, the player can move one piece to a neighboring empty slot. If a capturing move is possible after taking opponent pieces, the player can keep changing moves until no further capture is possible. 
It is forbidden for Peace to move the same slot two times in a row. Two times in a run turn. To move to the same slot. So you can't go left and then right again. Okay. That's interesting. I want to play this. Start again. Use the Peace Selector to move the... Move pieces along the lines on the board. Approaching or withdrawing from a piece will get it. Select piece. Move. Okay, wow. Okay then, um... Cancel that. No. Um... <laughs> shut up. Um... <laughs> okay, so... I can't... M I can only move it there. Okay. Alright, going t towards them or away from them does it. Got it. I can understand that. God damn! God damn it! Mate! Don't do that! Continue removing your opponent's pieces until there are no more possible moves. Boom, 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 boom. Beat that, mate. <laughs> I'm probably going to lose this because it's my first time playing, but still. Okay. Okay. Um. I don't want to do that. You can stop training moves by pressing E. I don't want to stop. guys that is singing in the background. So this is the only one I can do. Damn it. <laughs> that was fun. That was actually pretty fun. Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. 
I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk them down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Me too, don't worry. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? That's weird. Oops, wrong way. Sorry, Doctor. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not like that. Curious. Hmm. Most curious. That's interesting. Why would they be throwing cargo? So what day is this? I think it's like 50 something, I think it's Any a... news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it... Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? Oh crap. Secure the hatch! Payton. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? Oh, that we that's notice? what this is about. That we wouldn't follow? Ah, oh. so that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it?
I'm gonna make this worth it. Bring it on, mate. Break defenses. Ow, he actually hit me. There you go. See ya. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. Then I will. All right. All right. Well then. Later that day. <laughs> Secure the hanging. Come on, come on, come on. Tightening the bindings. Oh crap. Oh crap. Hang on, James. I got you, mate. They're down. Day 72. This makes you realize how much days it takes to get between places in the, like, on ships and stuff. Like, these kind of ships, at least. those. Do they pay him for saving the ship?
Rescue Jane's within given time. Hold on. So these are all optional objectives for this one sequence. Nice. Or at least this mission in the sequence. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Okay. Time for the crow's nest. I could drop right now and I won't be able to hang into anything because it's on an angle. <laughs> Wee. Ubisoft presents Assassin's Creed 3. Blending it with Atham's costume. 